Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. Um, again, that's for Cancer for the weeks of um, January 15th through the 30th, 2017. Uh, so I've already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. And Cancers, um, and all of you, all my new subscribers, um, not just the Cancers, <laughs> but uh, thank all of you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I ask that you please continue to do so. Um, these are general readings, so uh, I hope they do resonate with you. For private readings, you can always email me, namat76 at gmail.com, and I leave that in the description box below. Um, and also, I've deactivated my Facebook page, so sorry guys if... Um, you haven't seen me on Facebook or you click on the link and it's like going nowhere. So sorry about that. But I just needed a, a breather from Facebook. Okay, so for the heart of the situation, uh, we have the Six of Wands. Empress. Five of Wands. Strength. Uh, King of Cups and five of cups okay so the heart of the situation uh, there seems to be a victory um, I feel like you have a lot of people around you that are being supportive um, of your relationship or they're um, boosting your ego uh, making you feel good in some sort of way. Um, people are rooting for you. Um, they're like, you can do it. Um, you know, you're almost there. It's almost like you're crossing the finish line. And, you know, everyone is cheering you on. Uh, with the Empress here, some of you, I feel like you're having your desires or you're trying to manifest your desires um, this is usually having the things that you want um, you know you don't really have to do much things just come to you it's like you have a, the magic touch see how the fire is uh, coming from her hand or the um, the electronic or magnetic pool um, but this is you just kind of lounging around and um, also, uh, pampering yourself. This is like taking care of yourself. Uh, with the Five of Wands here, I feel like there have been some arguments and disputes. It could, now, it could be over another person. Also, the Empress can come off to me as someone who is a um, seductress or a temptation. Um, so, there could have been some sort of temptation um, that, you know, cause conflict in your relationship. Um, but I feel like you're kind of at odds, like you don't understand how things are going to turn out. Um, you know, you need some clarity. Um, I feel like a lot of you are, you know, trying to prove a point or you're defending someone or yourself or people are defending you as you just you know relax and watch the whole thing unfold and like you're enjoying it um, some of you are people are fighting for you um, like you know there's a lot of people attracted to you and, you know, it could be as literal as someone breaking out into a fight for you. Like, you're like, whoa, <laughs> people are fighting over me. That's cool. You know, so and that kind of boosts your ego. So, yeah, at some point, something's going to happen where I don't know. I feel like someone's going to be fighting for your love or fighting for you or in defense of you. Or it could be you fighting for the person that you love. Uh, I feel like someone's going to come to you wounded. Um, you know, it's, it's someone, there's some this loyalty that you have with someone. Um, and they trust you. And they're vulnerable with you. And you have this way of 
calming them. Um, you know, this is a person that comes off extremely confident and popular, but when they come around you, they just let that all go. And it's like, you know what hurts them. And you're like saying, I won't do that to you. Um, you know, you can trust me. And so someone has been wounded uh, around you or you have been wounded and, you know, your partner is going to kiss your boo-boos. Um, also, some of you may be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, um, Libra, or a water sign such as Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, either... With the King of Cups, I feel like there's some sort of regrets. Um, so this could be you, and I feel like you're mourning over something this week. Um, this upcoming week, it's like you're you're feeling bad. Um, if it's if it's not you, then it's your partner. This mourning over something, but there's uh, this level of regrets, and you know you're trying to tell people, and they want to help you, but it's like I don't know what to say, you know. Um, you know, they're just like, um, speechless, like, you know, that sucks, you know, but you just want somebody to hear you out. And some of you, you don't want to be bothered. And some of you, you don't care letting people know that you're, um, hurt or upset or mourning. Um, it's like you could be in a public place and just break down crying, um, or, you know, just getting drunk and telling people I lost the love of my life, you know, just something like that. Just making, I don't want to say making a spectacle of yourself, but you just kind of, you don't care. You're in a state where you're like, I don't care who knows, you know, I want the world to know how hurt I am. Yeah. And this King of Cups, uh, some of you may be dealing with someone who is an older gentleman. I mean, it could be a female, but, you know, because it's a general reading, it co could go either way. But, um, you know, this is a person who could be very emotional. Uh, they may drown themselves in their emotions. Uh, this could be you, um, the type of person that likes to drink when they get emotional or upset. Um, but I mean, I kind of feel like victory is coming for you. There is a possibility of someone coming back into your life. Um, if there has been a breakup, there is a possibility of a reconciliation for some of you. Uh, if you've been single, I feel like you, you're confident, you've been um, going out, um, you know, just making yourself available for people. And I feel like you are going to snag someone. Um, yeah, there's that air energy again. The Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius could be in your life. I feel like at some point you're going to take control of a situation. You're going to guard your emotions um, and you're just going to go forward. Um, it's like you're um, you're not going to let emotions cloud your, ju your judgment. Um, I feel like all of a sudden you're going to feel like suddenly you you have control or you're going to take your power back or realize that you're the one in control of your destiny and take advantage of your free will. Like you're like, this is not the way I want my life to go. Uh, so I'm taking my power back and I feel like you're just going to get yourself uh, together or you're already feeling powerful and you know, like you can conquer anything and have whatever you want. Um, some of you may be going to some sort of celebration next week where you'll meet this um, this air sign. Uh, they could be in their 30s, um, but they're confident and they're very outspoken. Uh, they may come off as kind of cold. Um, 
but they're attractive. Um, also, this woman, uh, if it is a woman, she can have masculine qualities or it could be a guy that has feminine qualities. Uh, but this person is very expressive. Um, they could also be someone who's popular or in a spotlight. Um, if you're in a relationship, I kind of feel like your partner is going to need your encouragement or you're asking for your partner or your partner is encouraging you. Um, giving you strength to do, um, to get over something, um, whether, whatever obstacles you've been having. Uh, if it's not your relationship that has been having some sort of drama, it could be something that you're dealing with at work and your partner's being very supportive um, of you and your choices and decisions. There is uh, some anxiety happening at some point, uh, like you want to shut everyone out you don't want to hear anything. You don't want any more advice. Um, you know, you're just like, I just wish everyone would just leave me alone. Some uh, some of you are having a hard time sleeping. Like your thoughts are really um, attacking you. Uh, so it's like a mild anxiety attack for some of you. Um, and you don't want to face your fears. It's something that you're not trying to hear about your soulmate. Like you're like, don't tell me that. Or I don't want to see that. Or it could be right after this anxiety attack, they come back around um, and apologize. So also, if you haven't broken up and you're just, you're in a stable relationship and you guys have been fighting, um, you know, I just see you guys uh, making up and apologizing to one another and just getting back to what makes your relationship strong. Uh, some of you are, you know, completing some sort of step in a relationship where you're like, maybe that was your first fight. Um, and I feel like you're going to uh, conquer that. I feel like you're, you guys are going to move past that and, um, you know, be able to move on. Uh, some of you may uh, choose to be single and enjoy being single, but just having people um, interested in you, like, you know, you feel beautiful or adorned. Um, you're comfortable. I feel like some of you are very independent financially. Um, or they see you this way. It's coming off as someone who is, um, you know, financially independent and can take care of themselves. Or this is the conversation or, you know, this is why someone is attracted to you. Um... I want to say free spirit. There is a possibility of that being free, like you having uh, this persona of being a free spirit that might be attractive to people or you might be attracted to someone who comes off as a individual free spirit, someone who uh, walks to the beat of their own drum. Um, I do see you kind of in isolation at some point meditating um, or reflecting, trying to see someone with a new set of eyes, uh, like you're trying to get a different perspective of what unfolded in your relationship. Um, I don't know, it's like you're asking, is it the finances? But I feel like you're trying, you're getting a different look or a different view. Um, now, some of you, you know, you just outright like to um, escape your problems by uh, smoking or um, daydreaming or, or sleeping a lot when you have problems. And that's how you resolve them, like you, you just... Um, isolate yourself and, you know, go to sleep. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this has been a general reading. For private readings, you can email me to matt76 at gmail.com. Uh, that information is in the description box below. Um, 
please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments. Uh, but thank all of you and many blessings.